yo, yo, what's up? It's me, Eddie Bath, aka Mr. Majikyo, coming at you from Tokyo, Japan with another balloon-related video. Today, I thought I'd share some tips and some tricks that have helped me with my balloon business along the way. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can display and organize your balloons to give a real air of professionalism. Like most people, I started with an assorted bag of balloons and I would just choose the color from the bag as the kid asked for it. But I realized that I would have to up my game pretty quick. So I took the balloons out of the plastic bag and I put them into something that looked a little bit cooler, like this material bag. Uh, and then you can root around for the balloons in there. Uh, I mean, that's actually pretty okay if you're a beginner, but let's be honest, guys, you're going to want to level up a little bit more than that. So what I started doing was taking all of the colors out and wrapping them individually uh, into the colors that I needed with this little elastic band. Uh, and I would get it really, really tight there. Uh, so all of the balloons are bunched out. There's none kind of poking out. Uh, and even that really gives you a super, super start on being a little bit more professional. So you can put all of these in little balloons and you can put them back into your bag. But come on, we got to level up even further. Let's look at some balloon bags. My first balloon bag was this mini twist them up. I absolutely loved it. Uh, level up. It's got a little belt. You can wrap it around. It's great for festivals. It's great for restaurant work. You can just hang it from your hip uh, and you can walk around. It's got all of the colors uh, displayed there in these little Velcro straps. Uh, and it's got all of these pockets on the front as well for the uh, hearts and the rounds. Um, the only negative thing I would say about this is unfortunately the pockets are quite deep and the balloons usually get pretty hidden pretty quickly so you actually don't know what's in there anymore. Uh, so that is a little bit of a problem but other than that having all the balloons displayed like this is already a major major level up to your balloon business. I've had parents come up to me ultimate times asking if they can take a photo of the balloons because they've never seen anything displayed so nicely. So this is the twist them up mini. Uh, it cannot hold that many balloons. So I went and bought another one. So I got a smaller, another small bag for my 360s and my 160s there. Uh, and again, it's got the same problem. We don't really know what's in here because we cannot see and there's so many bags. Uh, you have to go rummaging around there to look for it. Uh, these were my first bags and I loved them. But to be honest, they soon became too small. So I had to move up a level. The next progression up was to get the jumbo size twist them up. Uh, this one here has got 10, 20, 30 Velcro straps for all of these uh, 260s here. And they're all put in super nice and tight there. So uh, they look really, really clean and professional when the clients are looking. Uh, and I've got my hearts uh, in this one. And I got another one for all the 350s, uh, the 160s, and my rounds. Uh, you can see that the rounds here are hanging out a bit. What I've done is I've actually put these together with a little elastic band there uh, around the nozzles. And I'm just putting these in. And they're hanging out a little bit. Uh, again, same problem as the mini, though. What happens is they go in there and you can't see what's going on. I had this bag for 10 years or more actually uh, and it was the workhorse of my balloon business for a very very long time so I really really have a soft spot in my heart for this. Uh, I'm still keeping it and I'm going to take it traveling I think because it's uh, you know relatively relatively portable. Uh, so this is the Jumbo twist them up but if you really want to go one step further let's do it guys let's go and check out the Bagaloon Flower Clown Massive balloon bag, my favorite. All right, guys, here it is. This is the Bagaloon Flower Clown Aloha Series bag. It's got, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, uh, four times five, that's 20. We got 20 pockets on the front and they're mesh. Look at it, guys. You can see all of the colors on display. Not only is this fantastic for clients to see how kind of clean and flush all of your balloons look. It also helps me as a balloon twister choose what I'm gonna make because sometimes I'm just freestyling 
and I'll use my eyes and I'll just look and I'll say, oh, I've, I can see I've got all of these colors here. You know, let's, uh, let's use a round balloon for the next design. As opposed to the twist them up, I couldn't see, so I would always just go straight to the 260s. Now you can see with this uh, bagaloon bag, we've got all of the balloons put in here. These are in uh, burrito style. Now burrito style, they don't have any Velcro. What we've done here is we've put the balloons uh, into a plastic wrapper. What I've done actually is the same as I used to do with the um, twist them up. I will hold them all with my finger there until they're all nicely flush and bunched up. I'm gonna put an elastic band round and then I burrito them up with this plastic folder and put them back into the bag. Now, the fantastic thing about this style of bag is if you run low on one color, uh, you know, you're running low on blue, for example, you can just remove the blue, take it out, fill the blues back up, and put the blues back in there, and you're ready to roll. The problem with the twist them up is the blues are in the middle. To put the blues back in, I'm going to have to remove this first layer of Velcro. All of these balloons are going to kind of get loose and fall over the place, and then I'm going to have to put the balloons in and then put the Velcro back on. So I would actually wait till the end of the month, and I would just do the whole bag again. Whereas with the Bagaloon one, you can uh, interchange the balloons as you like to go. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today with the balloon uh, review video. I just wanted to say that it's a really small, small thing you can do that's going to give you a really big impact. Something you can do at home, as simple as like organizing all your balloons, putting them nicely, and then putting them into a bag, either into a belt or into the big bag, a loon bag like that. It's going to give you the air of professionalism that you need to continue with your balloon business and hopefully make it flourish and grow. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me the thumbs up, uh, subscribe, all that jazz. You know, who knows how that works. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again. Take care. Bye bye.